Okay. Next question, question number 25. P is a point. The coordinates is given. Cartesian coordinates. Q is the point this. M is the midpoint of PQ. So M should be average of the X coordinates. So M's coordinates should be minus 3 plus 5, 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 4 plus 1, 5, 2.5. So that's going to be 1. You can write down 2.5 or 2.5. Okay. Find the gradient of PQ. So gradient of PQ, difference on Y axis over difference in X axis. So PQ, so 1 minus 4, 5 minus minus 3. So it should be minus 3 over 5, 8. So it should be minus 3 by 8. Okay. R is a point that, O is a point this. Okay. Which of the points, R or P, is closer to O? So let me find out O, R. O is 0, 0. R is minus 6, 0. And P P is already given in the first part of the question, minus 3, 4. So minus 3, 4. So they are asking OP or OR. Okay, which one is shorter? So the one is shorter, that point is closer to O. So OR should be uh, minus 6 minus 0 square plus 0 minus 0 square. That's going to give me 6. And OP is going to give me same way. Minus 3 minus 0 square plus 4 minus 0 square. So that's going to be 9 plus 4 is 16. 4 square 16. So that's going to be 5. So OP is uh, OP is shorter. So P point P is closer to O. Now, to see this, what I'm going to do, see that O is right over here. This is O, 0, 0. Now, R... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is going to be 0 minus 6. That point R right over here. This is R. Okay. And that P is going to be minus 3, minus 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3, 4. So over here, minus 3, 4. So when you join that, and you find out the distance. This is 5. Magnitude is 5. And this is 6. So you can see that from that, R is 6 units from O. And P is only 5 units. So P is closer to O. Okay. I hope you understand that. Now this one, evaluate. Question number 21. Evaluate 9 to the power 1. That's 9. And 9 to the power 0. Any number to the power 0 equal to 1. So that should be 10. Okay, so this is 10. And this one n, when 4 to the power n, okay, I can write down 4 in the power of 2, 2 squared, n equal to 2 to the power n minus 1. So it can be written as 2 to the power 2n equal to 2 to the power n minus 1. The base is same, therefore I can write down 2n equal to n minus 1. Bring this n over here, so n equal to minus 1. So that's going to be minus 1. Okay, now... Uh, universal set question number 22 uh, are the elements of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 P is X is such that X equal to 0 1 2 and Q is such uh, 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 elements of Y uh, is such that Y equal to 0 and 2 list all the members of P intersecting Q now P intersecting Q I can see that I have 0 and I have 2 so 0 and 2 don't forget to put this bracket. Okay, without this bracket, it doesn't mean it's a set. Now, number of elements in P prime union Q. Now, what is in P prime? Now, P has 0, 1, 2. Go to the universal set. 0, 1, 2. So, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, P prime is 3, 4, 5, 6. And Q, I know already it's 0, 2. And it says that P prime union Q. So, union of that. So it's going to be 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And question is asking number of elements in P prime union Q. So I'm going to count the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6 of them. Don't put bracket. 
It's, it's just asking how many elements are in there, six. But when you put the bracket, that means braces or braces. When you put the braces, that means it's a set with one element and that is six. Okay, but that's not what the question is asking. It's asking how many elements are in this set. Okay, there are six. Now, Z is, Z is 2X plus Y. X is an element of P. X is an element of P. And Y is an element of Q. List all the members of R. Okay, fine. So, X is 0. So, when it's X is 0. So, 2 times 0. And Y, let it be 0. So, that's going to be 0 plus 0 is 0. Uh, when X is 0, Y can be 2. So, 0 plus 2 is 2. Now, uh, with, with 0, I have find all of them. Now, try with two, 1. 2 times 1, and this is 0 from y, uh, sorry, from q, so this is 2, and then uh, 2 times 1 plus 2, that's going to be 4. What I'm doing, I'm just taking each values from x, okay, and multiplying with 2, and then taking a value from uh, y over here, okay, so that's that, so... 0 and 1 done from x, now 2 is left. So 2 times 2 plus 0 from q, that's going to give me 4. And then 2 times 2 plus 2, that's going to be 6. So no more. Okay. So there are 3. So each of them got 2. So 3 twos are 6. 6 of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So list the number of elements in R, all the numbers. Okay. So I have 0. I have 2. I have 4, I have 6, so that's, if it's asking for number, then it would have been only 4 without any braces, okay, so this one is done, now express this one, this is a matrix, so 2, 1, and then uh, this is a, a constant, we're going to put it inside the brackets, so uh, minus 3, and that's going to be multiplied, that's 6, so the, uh, we're going to do the same thing, 2 zeros are 0, that's minus 4. So what I'm going to do, adding that 2 minus minus plus 3 and then plus 0 and 1 minus 6 plus minus 4. So it should be giving me 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 0 is 5. 1 minus 6 is minus 5 minus 4 minus 9. So that's going to be 5 minus 9. Uh, most of the students, when they multiply this, they take minus there so don't do that weaker students uh, do that but be careful and this one multiply the first one is one times two the order of the matrix and second one is two times three so this two and two matches so final product matrix should have one by three matrices so one by three matrices something like that okay so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna multiply this with this and this with this and then this with this so 2 times 0 plus minus 1 times 3 okay so this with that now again this with this 2 times minus 1 plus minus 1 times 1 now this with this 2 times 2 plus minus 1 minus 3 so nothing more we don't have any other just one so it's two zeros is zero it's minus three it's going to be minus two plus minus one so minus three and it's going to be four and minus minus plus three four plus three seven okay so that's going to be minus minus three minus three seven okay so this is done now we are coming to this one, uh, question number 24. A train travels between two stations, starting and finishing at rest for this journey. So st starting from zero and end at zero. Okay. For this journey, it accelerates uniformly from rest from here for first 30 seconds. So 10, 20, 30 for 30 seconds until it reaches a speed of 20, 20. So 30, 20 right over here. And it's acceleration. It's already said that. So... I'm just going to put a line like that with a positive gradient. 
and the second part travels at a constant speed of 20 for next 60 seconds so it was over here so next 60 second 10 20 30 40 50 60 right over here 90 with the same constant speed so at 20 I'm gonna join this up to 990 one more 90 okay like that be clear uh, be sure 10 20 30 40 50 60 okay uh, slows down uniformly for the last 20 seconds so from here 20 seconds right over here it should stop so I'm just gonna put it right like this okay so on the grid draw okay it's done while I was reading calculate the distance between the stations so this is a trapezium and distance equal to area under the graph and in this case graph is the trapezium so we're gonna use the formula of trapezium uh, summation of the parallel side now this one 90 minus 30 90 minus 30 that's equal to 60 so this is 60 plus 0 to 110 so that's gonna be 110 and this height is gonna be 20 so this and that cross out 10 so this is gonna be 170 times 10 equal to 100 no 1700 and this is meter it's gonna be meter so 1700 meter well we have meter the last one okay uh, it's a vector in the diagram a D B and ACF are straight lines okay AC and CF in the ratio so AC is 2 and CF is 1 this is not the length of that it's just ratio of that it might be 20 it might be 10 so 20 is to 10 cross that out 2 is to 1 or even it can be uh, 100 it can be 50 so 2 is to 1 okay that's the ratio and db db is p b is 3q ac is 2q and ac is 3p plus q express a b now a to b displacement a to b so i'm gonna come from a to c because that's given and c to b a to c plus c to b now c to b i have to come to this way okay so a to c plus c to e plus e to b e to b okay so now this is gonna be 3p plus 5q if you wonder why i am giving the bar underneath because this is a vector it's not a variable or constant so to just distinguish that i put the bar they didn't put the bar underneath because they put in bold letter i cannot do bold letter so i am doing this and CE is opposite direction, so it's going to be minus 2Q. And EB is already towards the minus direction, so 3Q. So minus 2Q minus 3Q, that's going to be minus 5Q. So it's going to be 3P plus 5Q minus 5Q. 5Q, 5Q cross out, so that's going to be 3P. So that's the final answer. Express CF in the terms of P and or Q. Now we're going to go for this. See that AC, this is in the proportional form CF equal to 2 is to 1. And AC, I already have that, right? So AC is going to be 3P plus 5Q divided by CF equal to 2 is to 1. I need more space. So if I bring this CF this side and 2 is that side, 2 is going to be half. So CF is going to be, CF is going to be uh, half 3P plus 5Q. Okay, so that CF is going to be half 3P plus 5Q. Done. Okay, express EF, where is e? EF in terms of P and or Q. So EF is going to be, EF is going to be EC plus CF. EC plus CF. Now EC, EC I have 2Q, 2Q, and EC, CF, we find it over here, plus CF, half 3P plus 5Q, 
So if I do the LCM, so it's going to be 2, 2 to the 4Q, taking this bracket of 3P plus 5Q, so it's going to be half 3P 5 plus 4, 9Q. 3P 4 plus 5, 9Q. Okay, so this is uh, EF is half 3P plus 9Q. Okay, now FE equal to KDE. That means EF equal to KDF. That means EF is parallel to DE. Okay, so when it's like that, then I can write down EF, uh, EF is over here, so multiply this one, 3 by 2P, plus this is going to be 9 by 2Q, so P and Q are the direction of the vector, so I need the elements, so 3 by 2 and over here 9 by 2 equals to K and DE, DE, I don't have DE, I have to find out DE. D E D E equal to D D E equal to D B D B plus B E B E and that's supposed to be P plus three Q. You can see that P plus three Q. Okay, so when I'm writing down th this is in the Cartesian vector form. If we are writing down in the um, uh, uh, column vector, it's going to be one three. So that's going to be 1, 3. So 3 by 2 and 9 by 2, if I multiply that k, 3k. Now corresponding elements, okay, and this is equal sign. So they are equal, 3 by 2 equal to k. This way I got k's value is 3 by 2. If you go this way, 9 by 2 equal to 3k. So this, this cross out. So again, K equal to 3 by 2 so it doesn't matter how you go it's always 3 by 2 so this is done this paper is done if you have any question leave uh, your question in the uh, comment box and I'll get back to you thank you have a good day